I'm here, Westminster Abbey. And uh, I'm assuming there's some work being done behind this uh, facade. Uh, but uh, apparently, last call, last time to get in is at 3.30 and it's 3.15 right now. So I'm very happy that I barely made it at the wire. So let's take, take a look what we can get done. Well, I'm done with uh, touring Westminster Abbey. And uh, towards the very beginning of my tour, I tried to take some video and I was gently told that there was no video allowed. So I just had to take pictures, but it was very uh, overwhelming in terms of just information you could absorb. It's just old, there's monuments everywhere. And I swear, if you just spent a few min minutes at each monument, it would take you hours upon hours to get through everything you know all the tombs and side tombs and this chapel and that chapel and everything and it's in stark contrast to st paul's where st paul's is very not say bleak but just the amount of information is not overwhelming the monuments are large but there's not so many of them that you get kind of lost in this cloud or clutter and then um you exit the cathedral back over there and there's the cloister right here and the chapter house I went through, you saw that, and the Pyrrhics is the storeroom, and then the sh gift shop is here. And of course, the gift shop is open to nine. Cathedral last tour enters at 3.30, and then they start getting people out of there by 4.30. So I'm out of here about with 15 minutes to spare, but definitely an overwhelming experience. So just turn around here. Um, and so, Next stop is uh, something else. We'll check the guidebook, or I'm just gonna be going back to my Airbnb to pack up, because I have to head out tomorrow to be at St. Bees.